Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make ricotta or pot cheese, which is an interesting name for it. And they call it pot cheese because it's made in a pot. And I've made it once before, so this is my second time making it. So I'm like flexing on myself by trying to teach strangers how to make it before I'm even positive that I'm making it correctly. But it's super easy and really freaking good like you can go to the grocery store and spend four or five dollars on a decent ricotta or you can go to a discount grocery store like aldi's or little or some people i guess pronounce that lytle which is i don't know lytle 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 it just sounds weird but you can go there get a gallon of milk for two dollars and 22 cents and then turn around and turn that into really freaking good ricotta and I'm gonna show you how and hopefully I don't fuck it up on stuff with okay here we go what you need is a big cast iron pot or a thick pot not one of those pots you got for ten dollars for a set of 32 of them then you need a third of a cup of lemon juice an instant read thermometer eight cups of milk a ghetto measuring cup your 72 cent strainer and cheesecloth all right you take your lovely 72 cent strainer and you use it to take seeds out of your lemon juice third of a cup don't forget that if you don't have lemon juice you can use citric acid if you're richer than me or there's such thing as white vinegar that works too and look at that left elbow just glistening that's because i moisturized and i have milk that's going to expire today that's why you're making ricotta so what you do is you fill this up you're going to do eight cups of milk no less look at that pouring it right into the cold pot notice that the pot is not turned on now you're filling it up with milk that expires next week because that's what you have but I mean, the closer it is to going out, the better it is financially. Now let's take a moment and look at how cheap I am. I've had this measuring cup so long that I lost the numbers and I drew them on with permanent marker. Sure, I could go out and spend $5 and buy a new one, but why do that when I have a permanent marker at home? I have no shame. All right, you got your eight cups of milk sitting there in your big cast iron pot or whatever you're going to use, and you turn the heat up to medium. Boom. It's on medium. Look at me pointing at it. And then you're going to put your candy at the thermometer in, which you thought was a good idea, but oh, it wasn't. But wait, we're stubborn, so we try again until it gets into the pot, which still wasn't a great idea. I ended up using another thermometer anyway, but we tried. Yay, Corinne. We tried. And look, it got up to 200 degrees. It is an hour and a half later on our clock because I forgot I had a child and had to go get her from school. All right, moving on. Once it hits 200, you'll notice that there's a film on the top. That's a good sign. So you take your thermometer out, put your lemon juice in. Woo, look at that. And then you turn the heat off and you let her sit with the lemon juice starting to curdle. And you set your little timer for 10 minutes. Boom. At the 10 minute mark, your ricotta will start to look like this. It's not all the way done, but we're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. Anyway, so now you need to add salt to the party. Getting salty. And when you get salty, that means you're stirring shit up too. So yes, get salty, stir it up, live your best life. And then you're gonna let her rest another 10 minutes after you're done stirring the pot. <laughs> And after another 10 minutes, you're at, at 20 minutes total of letting it rest. And that's when you're going to pour it into your strainer with your cheesecloth into a bowl. Yep. And then you start to get cocky. And you pour way too fast. <laughs> so you put that to the side and say, uh, fuck, I mean, it'll be okay, right? So you decide that you're going to try and pour more. But that doesn't mean it's going to be okay. No, that does not mean it's going to be okay. In fact, it's going to make a huge fucking mess. But you only know that now because you're recording your voiceover after you went through this mistake. Yep. So you put your little cast iron to the side. 
and then you lift the bowl like you did it right, even though you didn't. Good job, Corinne. Okay, after about half an hour or so of sitting in the fridge and straining through your cheesecloth and your 72 cent strainer that you got made fun of for buying, this is what your ricotta is going to look like. I left a lot of whey in mine because I knew I was going to wait a few wait a few days before using it. So here it is. It's a little bit wet, but it is ricotta nonetheless and way better than that shit you see at the grocery store. Look at her just sticking that spoon, kind of. Mm, hey baby. But wait, there's more. All right, so you're probably wondering what I'm gonna do with all that byproduct. And here, I'm gonna show you. What, you can do stuff with whey? No way! Huh? But there is whey, and you're gonna use it. You can use it in your potatoes, you can use it in um, pizza dough, you can use it in pancakes, you can use it in ice cream, which is kind of weird. But if you don't salt it, it can be used for dessert and it's pretty cool it's like free milk you can also use it to make future ricotta if you just want to repeat that loop over and over so anyway thanks for watching and enjoy me being awkward and footage that i messed up also trying to come up with a thumbnail but just being generally weird have a great day see you next time